What's up everybody, Mike here, and got a lot to talk about in this video today, going over uh, Muscle Hunter Wild showcasing a new gameplay and explains its game mechanics. So, in case you didn't check this out, on the Muscle Hunter YouTube, actually, they done a basic game overview video, we got a great sword uh, overview video, these are all short ones too, and then focus mode as well, and they just dropped like Insect Glaive, so a bunch of new new details and you know info drafts like that nothing really too spoilery just mostly going over like you know just mechanics like i said and, and some of the weapons and how they you know essentially function in this game and they mostly function the same as previous games but yeah i want to talk about that today so i'm happy they released new information where we get to know how the key concepts of this new installment will work basically and just a reminder this game monster Hunter wilds will arrive on ps5 xbox series x and s and pc in 2025 still no release date yet though the first video goes into explaining actions you can perform when riding the new bipedal mount the swift secret from how you can essentially you know drink a, essentially a healing drink or potion uh while riding it you can also collect items in the wilderness while riding it you can sharpen your weapon as well which is very cool you can even switch your weapons as well too which is the first time and a monster hunter series where you can actually have two weapons you can swap from essentially on the fly the secret also will automatically guide you to your monster target that you're hunting as well all very cool stuff here very fantastic adding some new elements to the series that hasn't been in the game at all yet and you know it's funny how the secret has been kind of a bit memed on in a sense or some people think like it it's you know oddly reminiscent of like a chocobo in a sense and i kind of get what people were saying about that as well like yeah i i understand those vibes i i get it it is somewhat reminiscent of a chocobo and this is probably going to be capcom's chocobo going forward in terms of this rpg series the second video focuses on explaining the focus mode a new mechanic that allows for more precise control over how you attack aim and defend yourself this mode makes it easier to identify and attack the weak points of the monsters aligned for a specific attacks to deal significant damage additionally some weapons in the game will have unique moves that can only be used in this mode called focus strikes but not only that though you can create wounds on monsters so not only do you have weak points on monsters but you also can create wounds and if you attack these wounds repeatedly as well as weak points you do even more damage and then for the you know next video of this you got the great sword explain how it works in the game how it functions basically this is one of the iconic weapons of the series known for its devastating power and ability to inflict large amounts of damage in a single strike it is one of the most powerful weapons in terms of impact damage but is also slower and requires careful control to maximize its effectiveness Thanks to a new focus mode, you'll be able to aim at the wounds and weak points of a monster and deal great amounts of damage, though, as I mentioned before. So, with the wounds being added in there, being a new uh, element of the game, and focus mode helping you out with that, that's going to be huge. And only that, we got to look at Insect Glaive as well, too. And this, you know, is what you kind of can expect, you know, a high mobility type of style of combat with using this weapon, almost like you're a ninja and you can utilize you know extracts that buff you you got your kinsect as usual that's going to help out and you can essentially f almost fly around the air dodge a lot of stuff while doing a lot of damage at the same time and easily do some good jump attacks and mount the monster things like that with this weapon this is honestly my favorite weapon from world when i started off playing world so really cool stuff here loving this loving these little drips of information new details are dropping uh, I believe this is going to be a Gamescom as well and Tokyo Game Show uh, based on like reports and things I've heard. Uh, Monster of the Wilds promises to be the most ambitious and spectacular some of the series as well too. Offering an open world where we will encounter enormous herds of monsters, putting more creatures on screen at once than ever before, and with dynamic weather conditions such as dangerous sandstorms or thunderstorms forcing us to dodge lightning that can also harm the monsters so i like that element as well too that they're really going in on this dynamic weather mechanic and system in the game and which is going to just change the whole ecosystem altogether and how uh monsters act and react and things like that and only that i like how the lightning as i said here you know will not only 
affect us as the player and hurt us but also the monsters too so there's gonna be a bit of strategy you know to utilize with that extra strategy matter of fact because not only are you going to have to strategize around your weapon use and the things you bring with you uh, for the hunt and but you know and also how the monsters you know attack patterns are and things like that and it's and ha habits are and things like that weather is going to be a factor sometimes too where you can utilize lightning if you position a monster i'm guessing in the right position for the lightning to hit it basically is what i'm speculating on with that and that is awesome to me because then that can make hunts even you know faster in a sense more fun more engaging more exciting in general you know all those things so very very awesome stuff there this is making me look more forward to this game honestly and in terms of probably big rpg triple a rpg games for next year as of right now this is my most anticipated game of 2025 from an rpg standpoint triple a um yeah like i don't know what else is coming out for sure next year that's a big rpg unless somehow sony decides to be like oh yeah we're gonna announce bloodborne remaster for ps5 and how to come out now they man if sony does that that probably would be on that would be on par if not be more anticipated for me than this game just because i'm such a souls game fan i love from software and whether it's blue point that's doing a remaster or it's from software is involved with it in some capacity as long blue with blue point or something like that you know hey I'm cool with it as long as it gets out there we need a remaster of bloodborne we need a pc release of bloodborne too hell he said he's like close you know close type of games to it but nonetheless sorry i've got off track there but monster Hunter wilds though most anticipated rpg game of 2025 for me no release date yet we might maybe get one soon uh possibly a tokyo game show at the list i don't think we're gonna drop it at gamescom unless they decide to randomly drop it at gamescom i don't know at the latest maybe game awards you know I, I would imagine if they're gonna you know not give us exact release date then game awards would probably be the safest bet if they don't do it at tokyo game show in september or gamescom later this month but i have to wait and see what are your thoughts on this guys what do you think about these new details the new mechanics overview trailers stuff like that sound off in the comments below would love to hear from you and is this what you're most excited for for 2025 in terms of rpg or games in general or is there something else on your mind that you're looking forward to next year and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please hit that thumbs up it helps out a ton subscribe if you're new make sure you check on links in the description below as well too there's youtube memberships there's the patreon as well <clears throat> and that's a great way to help form the backbone of uh, other channels well to help keep me going and making these videos for you guys my name's mike Thanks for watching.